When Bobby was 18, he came to see me. He wanted to talk to me about Miss Carly. And now, listen, he was 18. That's not an easy thing to do, right? And what he said to me certainly filled my heart with joy. What he doesn't know is that at that moment, I knew he would be part of my forever family. Turn all that you've given to me. I get to love you. It's the best thing that I'll ever do. I get to love you. It's a promise I'm making to you. Whatever may come, your heart I will choose. Today, surrounded by our closest friends and family, I choose you to be my husband, and I'll choose you again and again for the rest of our lives without reservation. The way you love, it changes. Carly, sweetheart, I just can't tell you how proud I am. I look at you and how beautiful you are and strong and independent and this is just literally just the happiest day of my life. So Bob, dude, I love you. I'll have your back. Rest your life. Not everyone is lucky enough to have a best friend like Carly. She is like a sister to me. She is the person I go to about everything. She always seems to be right about everything. So just remember that, Bobby. I get to love I remember when she first started talking about you, Bobby. We even heard about when you guys first met each other and she had to grade your paper in class. And honestly, Bob, if it wasn't for her, you would have gotten an F on it. <laughs> I get to love you. I get to love now, I still remember the day she told me all about some baseball player named Bobby. Little did I know that short, curly-haired guy would grow up not only to look better than Channing Tatum, <laughs> <laughs> but would also become one of my best friends. And they say love is a journey A promise that I'll never leave And when it's too heavy to carry Remember this What I will say is some of my best memories with this guy consist of just one-on-one -on -one talks about life, adulting, and basically everything 23-year-olds don't want to talk about. I'm not a savvy person, but I'll tell you, if it weren't for those talks and this guy sitting next to me, I wouldn't be the man I am today. I get to love you. Today is a celebration. A celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of two people who are in it forever. 
today, promises become permanent and friends become family. Love just isn't a word, it's an action. Love isn't something you just say, it's something you do. Carly, I can't believe you've been with me for almost half of my life, and today we are getting married. I cannot thank God enough for putting you in my life. You have taught me everything about love and happiness. I have never known that feeling until you. Today and every day, I promise you your best and truest friend. I promise to let you win arguments sometimes, <laughs> or at least thank you. I promise to love you through all of the ugly cries, saying the good times. I vow to love you for the rest of my life, oh. until my last breath. I promise to be the best husband I can be. I love you. I promise for the rest of my life, from this day forward, to love you unconditionally, respect you, support you, and above all else, make sure I'm not just yelling because I'm hungry. Someday, if the stars align, I might just let you win an argument. <laughs> So here's the happiness, a lot of babies soon, and all those Bud Lights I'm going to drink in your back porch when you change the locks on me. You know, they've been through a lot together. They've supported each other through an awful lot in the last several years. They're best friends. They grew up together. But what I love most about them is that they know how to make each other smile and laugh. Just look at the way they look at each other. <laughs> 